Okay, so we wanted to film another video for you guys, but we didn't really have any place that was open for us to investigate, and we thought that we would actually tackle one of Wheeling, West Virginia's most infamous legends. We are here at Tunnel Green. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of cool stories associated with this tunnel. It's an old railroad tunnel that now they turned into a walking trail for the public. So there's a lot of people that come through here every single day. But back when it was a railroad tunnel over a century ago, they said that actually there were a few vagrants that ended up being murdered inside this tunnel. They found their bodies inside the tunnel. And they also believe this tunnel to be haunted because up here on the hill, up above us is one of Wheeling's oldest cemeteries. That cemetery is built directly on top of this tunnel. And that's another reason why they believe that that is haunted. They think the spirits come down from the cemetery into this tunnel. So back in this time, because this tunnel was actually built in 1904, in that time it took a lot of manual labor to build stuff like this. And railroad tunnels were some of the hardest construction projects because they literally had to blast their way through the mountain to actually make this. So you get a lot of death associated with the construction of these tunnels as well, and I'm sure Tunnel Green is no different. I'm sure there were men that died trying to build this railroad tunnel here. I'm sure. So. I'm excited. Yes, me too. It's gonna be a bit challenging for us to investigate in here, but I'm hoping once the sun starts to go down, that we can get some activity inside this tunnel. Oh yeah. And it is creepy already, so I can't imagine what it's gonna be like once the sun goes down. Whole different story, I'm sure. Yeah. Not only do we have the tunnel for this evening that we're gonna be doing a little bit of investigating in, but if you take this trail up over top of the tunnel, up into the mountain, up there tucked in the tree somewhere, you have the haunted Lewis Wetzel Cave. There's a lot of history, so let's walk up there and take a look at it before we actually, uh, before the sun sets and we start investigating tonight. Let's do it. This is a bit of a hike to get to the to get to the cave up here, and we're ca doing it carrying the equipment bags because we don't want anyone to take our stuff if we leave it sit around here. So this is going to be interesting. So let's head up here. famous Lewis Wetzel Cave. This is the famous Lewis Wetzel Cave and it sits up on top of a hill with a beautiful vantage point of this little valley right here. And Lewis Wetzel was in the days of the settlers what they would call an Indian fighter back in those days. In other words, whenever they were settling in these areas, he would actually fight Native Americans that were trying to fend off and defend their lands. And it's said that in and around this cave, they believe that he killed 11 Native Americans. And there's even a story of him shooting one man. Uh, I'm not sure what tribe he was from, but there was one man who they say he shot right inside the cave as he was hiding from him. So. They think this cave is actually super haunted, and we're gonna see if we can go inside. I'm gonna take my jacket off to make myself more mobile, to crouch down and move, and I'm gonna go in, so. All right, so I'm getting ready to head into the Lewis Wetzel Cave here. It's a pretty tight fit. We're gonna be coming back up here, and I'm gonna be crawling back there with some equipment later to investigate to see what we can capture, so I'm gonna head in there. Okay. 
So I'm going underneath there. It is a little bit muddy. So that was kind of interesting. I had to duck really far underneath of that cave and I really had to squeeze myself so that I didn't get the camera dirty. But I think I made it. I am in the haunted Lewis Wetzel Caves. Now I know the best way to get in here, but the problem is, is getting the equipment in here is gonna be a lot of work, so, but, I think I'm up for the challenge. This is, uh, of course I'm behind the camera here, but this is headed back into the back, the far back of the Lewis Wetzel cave. We're gonna see how far this goes. And that's where it ends. Right there. This right here is the direction where I came from. Okay. Going up is going to be harder than coming down. So let's see if I can do this without getting the camera completely destroyed. sun is setting over there behind me and I am gonna go in here and do a little investigating inside the Lewis Wetzel cave so hopefully we can get something to happen Dave's gonna stay out here and stand watch over our equipment until it's time for us to do a little investigating inside the tunnel right Dave that is correct and I also don't do bugs which that thing is full of so <laughs> pass on that I didn't see any bugs whenever I was in there but sure. We shall see. It is a bit early for the bugs to come out because winter just ended, you know, it's early spring still. And we are gonna go in here, find out what the Lewis Wetzel Cave offers. See if any of the, see if any of the spirits that are said to haunt this cave still reside here. So hopefully I can make it back here. Let's go. we plow. <sighs> How in the world?
we go. Okay, I'm in. All right. Whew. All right, guys. I am officially inside the Lewis Wetzel cave. I'm going to set this camera up with some night vision. And then once I do that, we're gonna get started with this brief investigation inside the cave, so. All right, guys, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but Ryan went inside the cave there. He's going to do some investigating and see what he can pick up on. Um, I'm standing outside here, guarding the extra bags and stuff, and I'm not going in there with all those bugs. Um, just can't do it. Uh, but I'm enjoying the sunset out here, and hopefully it doesn't rain on us because it's looking kind of iffy. But hopefully Ryan gets some stuff in there, and then we'll be going and investigating down at the uh, tunnels. I'm sure I can see the REM pod back there. All right. So. Oh, where I can stand up. All right. here so I'm not blocking the view of the rim pod I'm sure you can see that now There's a device in my hand if you get close to it. If you get close to this thing I'm holding here, and you talk, you might be able to hear you. Lewis Wetzel, are you here? There's also a thing in the back with a red light on, and if you touch that, it'll let me know you're here. My name is Ryan. I'm sorry if I'm invading your space. I come with the utmost respect for everybody that's here. That's the creepiest part about this cave is that it's so dark. So dark. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and stand up for a second.
Whoa, I just heard a- hold on a second, what the f man? I just heard a voice from back here. Hello? I just heard a man's voice it sounded like from back here. And we're back underneath the mountain, guys. Whoa, I just heard a- hold on a second, what the f***, man? I just heard a voice from back here. I swear I just heard a man's voice come from back here and I'm back underneath the mountain. There's no way sound should travel back here this far. Was that you? I hope we picked that up. I really hope we picked that up. Please go back and touch this device back here. I'll show you how to use it. If you get close to it, and you get close to the antenna, it'll do that for me. Can you do that? Please? If that was your voice I heard... Can you please do it again for me, or talk through this box? Lewis Wetzel. They named a county after you. The Great Explorer. And this was your hideout. They say it was from up here that you shot at least 11 of the native people of this land. Did you do that? Lewis Wetzel, can you tell me if this was your hideout? I just heard a man's voice come through here. I adjusted the volume on this. Is it easier for you to talk now? Thought I just heard another man's voice. Oh, hello! I, I heard a man say hi. Oh, hello! I heard a man say hi. Oh. I'm gonna turn this box off here and leave in a few minutes. Is there anything you wanna say to me?
gonna turn turn this off. This is your chance. All you have to do is this. Can you do that for me? I'm gonna shut that off then. I'm gonna leave. Oh, thank God, there you go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna leave that camera set up here for just a second. I'm gonna take this bag of equipment back out, and that way I only have a few things to carry out of here when it's time to shimmy my way out of here again. I tore down the REM pod, but I left the periscope right here behind me. So hopefully, hopefully that will go off. Alright guys, so the sun is starting to set here. We have a camera set up inside the Lewis Wetzel cave. I just came out and as you can see I am absolutely filthy. But I guess that's the price you have to pay for investigating a haunted cave that's back in the mountain here. Once we collect that camera and equipment we are going to go down into the tunnel green. Supposedly pretty haunted as well. Actually sitting up here on the hill above me is where that cemetery is that sits on top of the tunnel. So hopefully we capture something in there and hopefully we capture something in the tunnel when we go down there. Alright guys, so night is falling here in Wheeling and I'm going to go in and collect the camera, the recorder, and the periscope that are actually running inside of Lewis Wetzel Cave here. And then from there, we're going to move down into Tunnel Green, another extremely haunted and legendary location here in the city. So I'll be right back. I'm going to need that flashlight, Dave. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we caught something. Hopefully. <sighs> so guys, I'm gonna grab the periscope here. And the recorder. Once I dry my hands off on my pants, these pants are pretty much filthy. Haven't been this dirty in a long time, if you know what I mean. So, let me grab this, turn it off, grab this, keep rolling on it until I get this set up. Okay. <sighs> Okay. 
out I go. Uh, here I come. You mother. Oh, watch your head. Watch your mouth. Excuse me, I'm sorry. We're gonna make our way down to the tunnel. There, Hoss? Sure am. Just trying to keep my foot in here. Now remember, they believe that there are some vagrants that were actually killed. Yes. Just put that right there. Put the recorder so close to the spirit box is just because we're probably going to have a lot of traffic noise. The interstate is literally just right over here, and that makes it tough no matter what time of day or night it is because cars will go by on the interstate. So we're going to have some noise contamination. But remember, there's a cemetery. If you go straight up the mountain here above us, there's a cemetery that they believe causes some of the hauntings here in the tunnel. Okay, so um, Amy's Crypt is another channel here on YouTube. Her husband Jared actually created this phone app called GhostTube. And we normally don't trust phone apps just because they're not very reliable, but he uh, makes a lot of claims about this app that he uses actual sensors and mechanisms in the phone. Uh, it's not pre-programmed to say any words that it's influenced by the mechanisms in the phone to create these words. We just wanted to test this out really fast to see what type of words and responses we could get through this. So I'm going to hit record on this and we'll see what comes through. Is there anybody in here with us? You know, you can walk right up to this device right here and do just that and it'll let you know, let us know that you're here. Did you hear that? What did it say? I don't know, there's some kind of voice there. I couldn't make it out. You're gonna have to speak a little clearer for us to be able to hear you. Hey, come on and talk to us. We're not gonna be able to be here this long. Or that long, rather. What's your name? That's the interstate outside. That sounds like it's right on top of this, but it's not. We're testing out this thing that I have in my hands to see if it can help us talk to you. So if you could say something that's relevant to let us know whether or not you can use this or not. 
Just try and mess with it and see if you can make it say something relevant for us. And just so everybody knows, this is in airplane mode, so it's not connected to any internet, it's not connected to anything. I have it running in airplane mode. What'd it say? I couldn't tell. That was creepy. Can you repeat that for us, please? Happy. Just said happy. Are you happy? If you're happy, Walk right up to this and go like that. I'll step back so you can have your space. Please? Could you do what you did earlier and make it talk, make this thing in my hand talk to me, please, if that was you? All you have to do is come up close to it. Or you can use these devices over here. something there. No, it's been pretty quiet most of the time. It sounds like something's trying to talk. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. We're going to have to go here in a minute. Can you say something that let it, lets us know that you're okay with being here? We can barely hear you. Can you speak loudly for us? Watch this. You can do that too, just go close to that. If that was you, thank you. We're gonna turn the box off now. It's been, it's been a little bit quiet here, but this is not the most convenient place to investigate. It's not. Um, there's a lot of traffic going by, a lot of water dripping, a lot of audio contamination, but hopefully we caught something here. But still, that doesn't distract from the fact that Tunnel Green is legendary here in this area. So we're going to pack this up. We're going to get out of here. Until next time, guys. Stay safe.